from now onwards we are going to work on user area what all information user can see how to register a user how to give login credentials to user everything whatever is related to user we are going to start from now okay first we are going to create this registration form then we are going to create login form and then we will be writing the php logic to register a user in our previous session we have seen when session is active the user should be redirected to payment page or else the user should be redirected to user registration page till now we have not registered any user so whenever we click on checkout button it will be redirected to login page before giving any login credentials to user first we have to register a user so in this we are going to work on this registration form okay this is the entire form we are having all these input fields and also we are going to insert the image we will see how to insert the image here we are having password confirm password we are having address field and mobile number we are having this registration button and finally we are having this login whenever i click on this login i will be redirected to login section okay this is how we are going to create first we are going to work on this registration then we will be working on this login and then finally we are going to write the logic to register a user and give login credentials to user i'll come here now first we are just going to design this now you can see this file is present inside user area inside that i'm having user registration.php now i'll come to my project now here i'm having one item inside cart i'll click on cart i'll click on checkout button now you can see i am redirected to user login okay that particular section is included inside this checkout.php now in place of this i want login before creating login form let's work on registration form i'll do control b i'll just change this to small letter now inside this user area itself i'm just going to create one file i'll just write here user registration dot php now first inside this file what i'm going to do i'll just come here i'll copy this okay instead of copying let me just write this basic boilerplate of html i'll just change the title user registration below this I'll come to index.php and from here I'm just going to copy bootstrap css link. I'll come on top. I'll copy this font awesome as well as this bootstrap css link. I'll copy this one. And inside this I'm just going to paste. Okay, you can directly copy from the website. We have already pasted this inside index.php, so I'm just copying from there. And below this I'm just having this font awesome. Now inside this registration we have not used any icons so we don't have to include this font awesome here i'm going to remove this okay if you want to display any icons or something you can use that font awesome you can get the icons from that website and you can display here let me give here small letter below this body i'll be creating one div and for this i'm just going to give the bootstrap class that is nothing but container fluid okay container fluid will take complete 100% of the width okay whatever width we are having of our system it is going to take complete 100% of that now inside this i'm just going to write here h2 for this i'll just give here text center so that my text will come in the middle and inside this i'm just going to copy this text and here i'll be pasting that one i'll save this i'll just copy this path as of now later on we are just going to give links and whenever we click on login section we should be redirected to this page i'll remove this i'll be writing here local host now you can see here i'm having new user registration now from below i'm not having any spacing so for this div container i'm just going to give some margin margin of 3 okay if you want to give margin y margin x okay it depends on you i am just giving margin x of 3 okay for better understanding let me just write here margin y which means top and bottom i am just going to give left and right i am not giving any margin okay now here i am having this output now below this we just have to create the form as of now i am just going to close this one now we are going to work on this below this we are having this username email all the fields we are going to work below this h2 first i am just going to create one div and for this div i'll just give the class name as row i'll just give row inside this div i'm just going to create the column div and for larger screen i just want to well and in extra large let me just write here extra large i just want to give 6 okay in larger screen i want to display 12 and in extra large i just want to display 6 columns here i'll be writing column lg 12 and column xl 6 column lg 12 and column xl 6 okay lg stands for large and xl stands for extra large now inside this div container i'm just going to create form action i am not going to give anything method i'll be giving here post 
method will be post and also i'm just going to give one more attribute that is nothing but end type okay this attribute is very very important because we are inserting the image inside the database whenever we are inserting the data which is not related to text then we have to give this end type and this value will be multi part multi part form data okay this is the attribute you have to give whenever you are inserting images if you are not giving this attribute then images will not be stored inside the database okay inside this form i have just passed this method and this end type action i am not going to give it will be empty because i am going to work in the same file okay that php code i will be writing in the same file now inside this form first i am just going to create the div for username i'll create div and for this div i'll just give here form outline okay this is bootstrap class so if you are not getting this one no problem if you learn bootstrap and if you know the basics of bootstrap then you can apply all these classes or else you can give your own stylings using css now inside this inside this i'll be creating label inside for let me just write here user username then i'm just going to give the class class i'll just write here form label okay this is also bootstrap class form label whatever stylings by default we are having for this label that will be applied if we give this form label class then inside this i'm just going to pass here username i'll save this i'll refresh this one now you can see here i'm having this username now this i want completely in the middle so for that we are going to see later let me just come down i'll be creating input field now below this i'm just going to create input field okay i'm not getting any suggestion so let me just type that one input inside this input field i'll be closing here inside this input field first i'm just going to give type type will be text okay for username our type will be text id i'm just going to give here user username okay whatever name we have given inside this for i'm just going to copy the same thing here okay this this and this should be same then next i'm just going to give the class class i'll be giving here form control i'll save this and now if i just show you the output this is my input field and all the data is been displayed now for this first i'm just going to give placeholder placeholder is nothing but now you can see here my input field is empty now as soon as i give here enter your username i'll just change it to capital e enter your username i'll save this now you can see here in place of that i'm having here okay this is nothing but placeholder we can type here as soon as we start typing that will go then after that i'm just going to give auto complete now you can see whenever i click on this i'm getting this suggestions i don't need this one so for that i'm just going to give here auto complete okay sometimes what happens our personal data will be displayed so i'm just going to give here auto complete to be off i'll save this i'll refresh this now whenever i click on this you can see i'm not getting any suggestion so for that we are just writing here auto complete is equal to off and also i'm going to give required is equal to required by mistake if i just fill the empty fields and if i just insert the data inside the database then this data will be stored inside the database so for that i'm just going to give required is equal to required so whenever i click on insert button without filling any fields it will not allow me to insert the data now if i come here now if i click on register button you can see it will be redirected to this section then finally the most important attribute that is name inside this name i'm just going to give here user username okay whatever value you want you can give as of now i'm just going to give user username because inside the session variable also i created username not to get confused with session variable and this value i'm just writing here user username if you want to write username then also no problem it completely depends on your requirement okay, now we are done with this i'll save this now if i refresh this once all the attributes whatever i have given that is applied i'll just copy the same thing and below this i'm just going to paste first let me just write here username field below this i'm just going to create here email field now in place of this i'm just going to write here user email i'll copy this here i'll be pasting that and also here i'm going to paste enter your email now rest everything remains same i'll refresh now you can see but for this i'm not having any spacing 
So, inside this diff container, I am just going to give margin bottom MB of 4. I will save this. I will refresh this one. Now, I am having some spacing. In the same way, I am just going to copy this and here I am going to paste. Okay, because now whenever I create another field, I should be having some spacing. So, I am just giving margin. Now, I will refresh this one. Now, for this also, this margin will be added. Now, this entire container, I just want in the middle. So, what I am going to do? Here we have created this div. For this div, I have just given the class as row. Now, inside this, I am just going to give here D flex, which means that display to be flex. Now, I will come here. As soon as I refresh this one, we will not see any effect because we are going to add some more properties here. Next, I am just going to add here align items. Align items to be center. And also, I am just going to add justify content. Justify content to be center. I will save this. As soon as I refresh this one, my form will come in the middle. Okay, we are just adding these three properties. Display flex, align item center and justify content center. Whenever we want any container to bring in the middle, we can just add these three properties and our container will come in the middle. Next, we are having image. Let me just come here. Okay, next, we are having this user image. I will copy this. Below this, I am going to paste. In place of email, I will be writing here image, image field. Now, here I am going to write user image. I will change this one. User image, copy. Here I will be pasting that and also inside this name, I am going to give same value. Now, we do not need this autocomplete and also we do not need this placeholder for image. And for image and for email also, we have to change the type. Type will be email and here I am just going to give the type as file. Okay, these things we have to change. For email, our type is email and for image, our type is file. Then rest everything is same. I will save this. Now, if I refresh this one, you can see here I am having user image and this field. Then below that we are having password and confirm password. I will just copy the same thing for email. I will just copy this one. And below this I am just going to paste. Here I will just change this to password. I will copy this password. Here I am just going to paste that one. User password. Enter your password. Here also I will be changing it to password. And finally, here I am just changing it to password and type also I am just going to give password. Why? Because let me just come here. I will refresh this. Now, here I am having. Okay, let me just change here. Here I will be writing password. I will save. I will refresh. Enter your password. Enter your email. Now, whenever I type here, I am having this text. Now, when I type for password, you can see I will be having this kind of symbols. So, for that we are just giving here type is equal to password. Next, we are having confirm password. I will copy the same thing. Below this, I am just going to paste. I will be writing here confirm. Here, I am just going to write confirm. Then type will be password. For this, we do not have to change the type. Then here, instead of this, I am just going to write here confirm user password. I will just come here. I will just write here conf user password. I will copy this one. I will paste here. And also here, I am just going to paste. Okay, whatever values you want, you can give. It completely depends on your choice. So, you do not have to worry what I am giving. Whatever you want, you can give, but accordingly, you have to do the changes. Now, I will save this. I will refresh. Now, here I am having confirm password field. Enter your password. Let me just change the placeholder. Confirm password. I will save. Now, you can see. Now, I will be having confirm password. Now, below that, I am having address field. I will just come here. I will copy this text from here. Okay, this username field. I will copy this entire field and this comment I am just going to write on top. Now, I will copy this one. Below this confirm password, I am just going to paste. I will just change it to address field. Now, here I am just going to change it to user address. Copy, paste, paste. Enter your address. Here also I will be writing address. I will save. I will refresh this one. Now, here I am having address. Now, below that finally I am having contact. I will copy the same thing and below this I am going to paste. I will just write here contact field. I will change accordingly.
I'll save. I'll refresh this one. Now below address, I'm having this contact. Then finally, I'm having this register button. Below this div container, I'm just going to create the button. Now for this button, I'm just going to create one div. And for this div, I'll just give the class as text center. Okay, so that my button will come in the middle. Inside this, I'm just going to create the input field. For this input field type, I'm just going to give submit. And inside this, I'll just give the value. Value I'll be giving here register. Now I'll refresh this one. Now you can see here I'm having this button. Now for this button, I'm just going to add some classes. I'll just write here class. Class I'm just going to give here BG info. Okay, BG info means it is going to give me blue color. BG info and also I'm just going to add some padding. Padding Y which means top and bottom. Padding X I'm just going to give here 3. Okay, left and right. I'll refresh this one. Now you can see that class has been applied. Now if you want to remove border, you can remove. I'm just going to remove that one. So for that, I'm just going to give border to be 0. I'll save. Now if I refresh this one, that border has gone. And also I'm just going to give the name attribute. This name attribute is very important. So I'm just going to write here user register. Okay, whatever value you want, you can give. I am just going to write user register. I'll refresh this one. Now there is no change. But when we write the condition, we are just going to check for that. Now let me just remove this text center because in my demo, my class, my button is not in the middle. I'll refresh this one. Now here I'm having this button. Now for this button, I'm just going to add some margin margin top of 4 and also I'm just going to add some padding padding top of 2 okay if you don't add then also no problem okay it completely depends on you whatever stylings you want you can give I have just added margin and also I have just added padding now below this input field I'm just going to create one paragraph and inside this paragraph I'll be adding this text I'll come down I'll copy this one and inside this I'm just going to paste now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to wrap this login inside one anchor tag. I'll be writing anchor tag. Inside href, I'll be writing here user login, user login dot php. I'll save this. I'll refresh this one. Now this login I have to wrap inside anchor tag. I'll copy this one and here I'm going to paste. I'll save. Now I'll refresh my project. Now you can see already have an account. When I click on this login, I am redirected to user login page. I'll come back. Now for this, I'm just going to add some classes. Class and inside this, I'll be adding here. First, I'm just going to write here small. I'll save. Now you can see my text is in large. I'll refresh. Now my text has become small. Now next, I'll be adding here font weight to be bold. Okay, I want this to be in bold. So I'm just writing font weight bold. I'll refresh. Now you can see the font weight is bold now. And also I'm just going to add some margin top of 2 and padding top of 1. I'll save this. I'll refresh this. Now I'm having some spacing. If you want to give padding, no problem. If you don't want to give, then also no problem. Padding and margin based on your requirement, you can give. I don't want any margin on from bottom. So I'll be giving here margin bottom 0. I'll refresh. Now my form is ready. The only thing is we have to change the color of this one. Login. Now here inside this anchor tag, I'll be adding the class. Class, I'll just write a text danger. I'll save this. I'll refresh. Now you can see the text has changed. Now from here and from here, I'm just going to give one space. I'll save. I'll refresh. Now I'll be having some space. And also if you want to give one space here, you can give. I'll refresh this one. Okay, now here I'm having already have an account, then login. Okay, we are done with this registration form. What I have done, I have just created the simple form by giving all these properties like placeholder, autocomplete. This name attribute is very important. User image, password we are having. We are having confirm password, user address, user contact. And inside this button also I am having user register.